For decades, scientists have believed that most of the universe is made of dark matter and dark energy, invisible components shaping galaxies and driving the universe's expansion. But a new study from the University of Ottawa challenges this long-held view. It suggests these mysterious elements might not exist at all. Instead, their effects could be illusions caused by subtle changes in the laws of physics themselves. In this video, we'll explore what this new theory proposes, how it could rewrite our understanding of the cosmos, and what it means for the future of cosmology. Let's get started. For almost a century, dark matter and dark energy have been pillars of modern cosmology. Together, they supposedly make up 95% of the cosmos. We don't detect them directly, yet their influence seems undeniable. From the fast rotation of galaxies, to the bending of light around clusters, and the accelerating expansion of space itself. Professor Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa believes these observations can be explained without invoking unseen matter or mysterious energy. In his new research, he argues that the universe's fundamental forces may slowly weaken over time. As the cosmos expands, the strengths of nature's constants, such as gravity, might subtly evolve, producing effects we currently attribute to dark matter and dark energy. In Gupta's model, this time dependence gives rise to a new mathematical factor called alpha. This term behaves like an adjustment to the strength of gravity, changing across both space and time. On a cosmic scale where matter is distributed evenly, alpha acts like a gentle repulsive force, what we've been calling dark energy. On smaller galactic scales, it enhances gravity slightly in regions filled with stars and gas, mimicking the pull of dark matter. The beauty of the idea lies in its unification. One principle, one equation, explaining both phenomena. Rather than treating dark matter and dark energy as separate mysteries, Gupta's theory interprets them as two aspects of the same evolving universe. An additional outcome of this model is a revised cosmic timeline. If the universe's forces have been changing since the Big Bang, its apparent rate of expansion, and thus its age, must be recalculated. According to Gupta, this adjustment would make the universe nearly twice as old as we currently think, about 26 to 27 billion years. This could solve the puzzle of why massive galaxies and black holes formed so early, within just a few hundred million years of the Big Bang. Gupta's study, published in Galaxies, builds on his earlier work questioning dark matter at large scales. His new paper extends that reasoning to galaxies themselves, showing that the same evolving constants framework can reproduce their observed rotation patterns. He concludes that the universe's changing nature, not invisible particles, could explain its most puzzling behaviors. While the idea is bold, Gupta acknowledges that it must pass rigorous observational tests. The theory challenges decades of cosmological data, but if proven, it could replace two of the most elusive ingredients in modern physics with one evolving equation. This isn't the first attempt to explain the cosmos without dark matter or dark energy. Since the 1980s, alternative theories like modified Newtonian dynamics, Abers M and D, have proposed that Newton's laws behave differently under extremely weak gravitational fields. Mann successfully explained the flat rotation curves of some galaxies, but struggled to describe larger structures such as galaxy clusters and the universe's overall expansion. Gupta's model takes a different route. It doesn't modify gravity itself, but instead lets the constants that govern physical laws evolve over time. In this view, the universe isn't static in its rules. It's a living system whose governing parameters slowly shift as it expands. This approach could explain both local and cosmic scale behavior without assuming any exotic forms of matter or energy. This theoretical shift also aligns with a growing question in physics. Are the constants of nature truly constant? Some cosmologists have speculated that quantities like the fine structure constant or gravitational constant might vary ever so slightly across cosmic history. Observations so far haven't confirmed this, 
but Gupta's model provides a structured way to explore it. However, the challenge for any new cosmological theory is clear. It must perform at least as well as the Lambda CDM model, which currently dominates modern cosmology. Lambda CDM Lambda Cold Dark Matter has withstood countless tests, from the cosmic microwave background to galaxy clustering and gravitational lensing. Any alternative has to match that precision while simplifying the framework, not complicating it. Recent research continues to support the dark matter paradigm. A 2025 study by the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam analyzed the smallest known galaxies, faint dwarfs on the edge of visibility. Their stars move too fast to be explained by visible matter alone. Simulations that included dark matter halos fit perfectly, while modified gravity models failed to reproduce the data. These findings reinforce the idea that something unseen still shapes galaxies. For Gupta's theory to hold, it must explain such results without contradicting them. His model will need to show how evolving constants could produce identical effects to those generated by dark matter halos across thousands of different systems. Still, scientific progress often comes from exploring ideas that appear radical. Even if this new framework doesn't replace the standard model, it pushes physicists to question fundamental assumptions, particularly whether physical laws are eternal or adaptive. If constants evolve, then the universe isn't governed by fixed rules, but by slowly changing relationships between its forces. That concept, while speculative, could revolutionize how we think about physics itself. If proven correct, Gupta's proposal would rewrite the story of the universe. First, it would render decades of dark matter searches unnecessary. Projects like underground detectors, collider experiments, and astronomical surveys, all aimed at identifying dark matter particles, might be chasing something that doesn't exist. Second, a redefined cosmic timeline would alter our understanding of cosmic evolution. A universe twice as old provides more time for stars, galaxies, and black holes to form, removing the need for hypothetical mechanisms to speed up early structure formation. Third, the model redefines the laws of physics as dynamic rather than fixed. Constants like the speed of light or the strength of gravity could subtly shift as the universe expands. This would transform how we think about the relationship between space, time, and energy and might bridge the gap between cosmology and quantum physics, where time-dependent constants could play a key role. But the bar for evidence is high. The model must be tested against observations across all scales, from the motions of nearby galaxies to the distribution of cosmic microwave background radiation. It must not only reproduce known results, but also make new, falsifiable predictions. Upcoming observatories may help settle the debate. The Euclid Space Telescope, launched by the European Space Agency, is mapping billions of galaxies to measure how cosmic structures evolve. The Vera Rubin Observatory, soon to be fully operational, will deliver detailed motion data for countless galaxies and clusters. These datasets could reveal whether subtle variations in the constants of nature exist, or if dark matter and dark energy remain the more accurate explanations. Even if Gupta's theory doesn't prevail, it serves a valuable role, reminding us that science advances through challenge, not consensus. Testing unconventional ideas forces researchers to refine their models and ensures that accepted theories aren't taken for granted. Cosmology has faced paradigm shifts before, from Newton to Einstein and from static universes to expanding ones. If Gupta's evolving constants framework proves consistent with observation, it could mark another such moment. But even if it falls short, it leaves behind a crucial insight. The mysteries of dark matter and dark energy may not be permanent gaps in our knowledge, but signals urging us to look deeper into how the universe truly operates. Rajendra Gupta's model reimagines the cosmos as an evolving system where changing forces, not hidden matter, 
drive its behavior. If proven, it could overturn the foundation of modern cosmology and extend the universe's age. Whether it stands or falls, it reminds us that even our most trusted cosmic truths are still open to question.